welcome to another episode of Charlie and the 808. This is episode 8. Charlie, can you sit? Can you sit? Good boy. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We are going to do a challenge instead of a, the usual vlog type of video. So this challenge is called the Lick and Paint Challenge. Basically, it was a kind of a viral challenge last year. This year is already ending, so might as well just do it a year later. You put paint on a canvas and you put the canvas in a Ziploc bag and the dog licks the peanut butter that you spread over the Ziploc bag to create type of artwork on the canvas. But the plot twist is I'm gonna do the challenge as well and my friend Carter is also gonna do the challenge. We're gonna see which painting is the best one and we're gonna see who might be the next Vincent Van Gogh. Possibly I might quit my job, become a professional licking painter. He's too focused on this treat. We hope you enjoy today's video. We're gonna go to Carter's house. Good job, baby boy. <laughs> Cheats. You gonna say bye? <laughs> One. Your mic's picking up. Yep, you're good. Two. Are you recording already? Nope. Yeah, you are. Oh, really? I have a special guest. Hello, I'm Carter. I'm the special guest. It also has a YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Dude, you can find me at Carter Perry. I talk about living life with one leg, one lung, and surfing and adventures in Honolulu. And this is Mr. Charlie, per usual. So today we are going to do the lick and paint challenge. Yeah, we are. We're both gonna partake in this challenge as well as Mr. Charlie here. So that's for him, and then uh, we're probably gonna. I know, we're probably gonna use actual peanut butter for us. It's pumpkin pie mix. It's 100% pumpkins. I don't know. Like, oh, pure pumpkin. Yeah, it's gonna taste nasty. <laughs> yes. But Charlie loves this, and it's really good for the digestive system for dogs. All right. For some reason, I feel like you need a thick consistency of peanut butter, so Charlie's talking. Actually, the paint underneath. But I was pretty good short. That's like 5,000 views right now. Uh, you know, uh, you know my data. Go and subscribe and you know my data. Oh yeah. How does that look? Appetizing. Seems to eat. As long as we get the essence of what he's doing. Ready? And one, two, three. Grace. Boy. I'm gonna pick mine up because I'm a sophisticated human. Yeah, pretty good. Charlie. You gotta work on There you go, good job. But he's so gentle, like, I don't even know if his tongue is really. Let's get in there. He's using the white space uh, intentionally to create contrast between his colors. <laughs> it just looks like mustard. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I think Charlie's the winner. Mine is like just different flavors of, yeah, different flavors of mustard. I'm sad. Charlie, you did a good job. Might as well just add like red ketchup. It's gonna be the best. We're here with Chase, and he's gonna judge whose art is the best. Taking it back to number two. One, one, one. All right, number two is the first choice. What is second place? Number one is a Carter creation. Jasmine's number three. Charlie, you did such a good job. It just looks like mustard. So I'm a little bit jealous. Good job. Nice work. <laughs> what? You do it to him, but you don't do it to me. Really? Okay. Hello. I'm going to show you these three paintings. Tell me which one is like the best. I really like number two. Yeah. The mustard and blood, yes. Labradoodle. Labradoodle. 
and like the paint would stick to the canvas of Charlie. Which one do you think was the dogs? The blue one. How'd you know? It's the best one? It actually is the best right? one. Right? Yeah. I would say mustard. I was going for a sunset, Alyssa, and it had to be mustard in blood. That one just kind of makes me think of like Thanks. That's what I was going. <laughs> That's a wrap, folks. I hope you enjoyed our painting licking activity. <laughs> Day three, and you're still eating where we're at. Hey, hey, hey. No. Try to stop. Stop early. Can you do this?